um, I'm going to speak about the Sunny Sky motor lineup that uh, Dave mentioned on the show, um, FPV style. I don't have the 2216 that uh, he was mentioning that they were going to, uh, that they hadn't had a chance to try out. But what I have been using and um, have been using them for quite some time is the Sunny Sky uh, X2212 13 900 kV motors firepower from China uh, and the website is rcsunnysky.com I believe I purchased these um, from Banggood uh, they're a really good midline motor line um, they usually come in $20, $25 give or take um, depending where you purchase them from like I said, I get mine from Banggood is a, is a, a good price. And when they ship them to you, they come all bagged up. Uh, come in a bag like this with the motor, uh, the bullet connectors uh, pre-soldered on, all in the bag like this. And then you get a separate bag that has the base and the prop adapter. The prop adapter screws on to the top of the motor with three screws here one two three and the base screws on if you want to use the base uh, here with four screws I think they're two and a half no they're three millimeters and um, that's what you get in that bag there in the screws to put the prop adapter on the prop nut and the washer that goes on top the as far as the size of the motors the width of the motor can is about 27.6 millimeters the height of the motor can from the base to the top of the can is 27.8 total length of the motor including the prop adapter is about 53.2 millimeters and the spacing on the motor mount roughly center to center 24.5 millimeters diagonally they're about 33 millimeters and the weight of the motor including the base and the prop adapter is 2.32 ounces and in grams about 67.9 66 grams per motor like I say real good midline motor the windings as you can see are uh, really um, good tightly wound I haven't run into one with um, a miswound motor. You see in the base of this one, good tight windings. The bearing set is decent for the price. I realize it's not a T motor or the top of the line like that, but they are really good um, bearings, top and bottom. The C clip, so you can change the bearings out or the shaft, which you can um, purchase online just about anywhere. I've been using these motors for some time and haven't run into an issue there they come well balanced from the factory and um, um, I've never had to balance one uh, I use them both on my tricopter back here and I use them on my quadcopter here and I run 9 inch props on my tricopter and 10 inch props on my quadcopter and uh, motors can run I run you can either run them on 2 or 3s I run them on 3s and uh, this quadcopter with the camera the gimbal battery and the FPV gear is quite heavy and they never have an issue they barely get warm when they're running this is the sunny sky 2212 13980 KV um, just a little vibration test I've set the motor up on a paint stir stick so it's very thin wood I, I've got a little cup of water here just to show the vibrations coming 
um, from the motor. They're very minimal, nothing high tech here, but uh, you can see I'll run it up and there's only a slight vibration, about three quarter throttle, and then it's moved out. Here's the vibration a little bit, and then it smooths out there, and all the way up to max RPM. You can see there's little to no vibration coming through, showing on the water, and touch it, very minute. So that just shows uh, they're pretty well balanced from the uh, from the factory. Not 100%, but uh, really as good as you can ask for the uh, for the price. Thanks. Bye now.